In this video, we are doing a taste test of some backpacking meals side by side so you can decide what is best for you. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day now. Of what we are eating today, we have five different brands and six different flavors. So I, I think I'm most excited for this one. It's the Southwest style chicken from O'Meal's. I'm a little nervous about some of the other ones. Nikki's not as experienced <laughs> with backpacking food. No. So I think she's in for a little bit of a treat today. <laughs> but if I had to pick a favorite or what I'm most excited for, mm -hmm. I would probably say the Hungarian goulash. I think I'm most scared for that. I think that's partly why I'm most excited for it. <laughs> Let's get cooking. Okay. If you're not familiar with backpacking pouch meals, they're designed to be very lightweight, packed with nutrients, and very easy to use. I've never made a backpacking meal before, but all we had to do was follow the directions on the back, which generally was just add water, stir, and wait a little bit. So first one is the Backpackers Pantry Brands. Flavor is Pad Thai. Out of all the others, we've already prepared them all. This one seems to be the most packed with flavor. So we're gonna try it and let you know. Oh boy. It smells very good. Mmm. That is actually very good. Lots of flavor. Just to give you another little piece of background here, I've had many of these in my lifetime, and so my comparison is gonna be more towards a more experienced background, whereas Nikki's is gonna be a little more towards... No experience. It's gonna be like she's comparing it to normal food. Yes. This, to me, is probably one of the best backpacking pouch meals I have ever tasted. Really? Yeah. Out of, like, out of all the ones that I've had, this is probably one of the best tasting ones. Wow. I would say this is pretty close to normal cooking. It's not far off. We're also going to do a big comparison at the end, nutrition-wise, giving you the numbers. So be sure to stick around. That way you can see the full comparison of all of these. This is good to go, and this is a Thai curry. I can smell it. I'm a little worried. This is definitely a very different flavor than the last one. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like dog food. It's not that bad. <laughs> you don't like that? <laughs> like I could see people who like that flavor like that. But I, I don't, don't think it's bad. I definitely don't think it's as good as the Backpacker's Pantry. But overall, it's a pretty good meal. There's a weird flavor in that that I'm not a huge fan of, so that's probably why I wouldn't eat it again. <laughs> need a little water out for that one. Okay, Hungarian Goulash <laughs> by Nomad Nutrition. I feel like it smells like chili. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. I could eat that. I would say it's like a bland chili. I guess so. If this was like the best value, I'd definitely buy it. I yeah. like this one too because it's not really like <clears throat> super mushy. I think some other ones could be really mushy, but this has like, I would say more firm vegetables in it. I just feel like I'm eating real food. That is true. It's good. Next, we have the classic chicken and dumplings. Mountain House is the brand, mm -hmm. which this is probably the most well-known brand out of all of these. Wow, I think that's Fantastic. I am not a huge chicken and dumplings person, but I would yeah. totally eat this on the trail. I thought this was going to be the worst, and I'm actually very impressed. Mm. It tastes like normal chicken and dumplings, which is a little bit less quality because it's a backpacking meal, but I would say this is a great dinner because it's really bready, and since it's calorie packed, I would love to have this coming up at the end of the day. We've got another mountain house. This is the chili mac with beef. It looks like chili with noodles. That is exactly what it is. Cheers. So far, that's my least favorite. The meat in this one is very bouncy and chewy. <laughs> very rubbery. Rubbery. Yeah, there, there you go. go. The flavor is pretty good and the noodles are good. That meat is a little weird for me. It's not a jam-packed, flavorful chili, but it is, I would say, it does have good flavor. Just weird texture. That's all. One more. Aw, this is fun. I like this. So the O Meals is special because mm -hmm. it is actually a self-heating bag. It has a heating pad 
that you actually put into the water with the food pouch in the larger pouch and it just heats itself up. The great thing about it is it's a lot easier. You don't have to pull out your stove, boil the water, pour it in. You've got it all right here. Literally the only thing you need with this one is water yep. of any temperature. <laughs> got a little bit of a Fruit Loops smell to it. It does! Can't you smell that? That's yeah. weird. <laughs> So odd. That is interesting. I could be totally wrong, but I think the Fruit Loop smell that we feel like is there is actually like the flavor of the bag. Like the flavor of the bag has seeped into the food and it is making it taste a little funny. Could be a combination of the heating pouch, just the way that this cooks. Mm -hmm. It just has a specific flavor. It's a little so it would be interesting to know to get different flavors and see if they all have that, all have that similar taste mm -hmm. or if that's just an ingredient in this one. Because mm -hmm. it is interesting. It's not like anything I think I've ever tasted before. Yeah. Like I can taste the food and the intention of the flavor and that is good but that weird but yep makes it a little a little gross now the moment you've been waiting for we're gonna put these in order i'm actually gonna put them in order from my least to my most favorite and then nikki is gonna kind of swap them around to hers and then you get the feel of two different people what we think my least favorite was the chili mac with beef. I thought that the flavor wasn't great and the texture was also kind of weird. And so both of those working together just makes it my least favorite. My second is the Southwest style chicken with rice. This one was just kind of odd with mm -hmm. that flavor. Yeah. It just wasn't that great. Third for me is the Hungarian goulash. I do feel like a different flavor of this just be, for me me personally would probably rank higher because I do agree with Nikki and that I do think that this was one of the most fresh tasting out of all of these. Mm -hmm. After that is the Thai curry and after that the chicken and dumplings and then my favorite is the backpackers pantry pad thai. This truly is packed with flavor and it's just very good all the way around. This one is going to be my least favorite because I just can't do the flavor. There's something in there that I personally I don't like. <laughs> then I'm going to do this one because of the weird extra flavor. <laughs> and then this one because of that texture. So rubbery Makes meat sense. Makes sense. is next. I would say this one is in the same spot for me. And I actually uh. would say that the chicken and dumplings was so surprisingly good that would absolutely be my favorite. I would eat that <laughs> any day on the trip. That's funny. This one is really good and really flavorful. I just if I had to choose between the two, I would pick That's that. funny. This is my yes. low ranking. Genuinely, I was impressed with these top two. Yeah. Like, really impressed yeah. with these. Everything else was like backpacking standard or below standard mm -hmm. for me. So very different palettes. Yes. And very different experience. Yes. So hopefully that'll help any of you that are watching yes. to decide and really get a feel for mm -hmm. what you like. These two at the top, I think we both agree, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong with either right. one of these. And we're not saying any of these brands are bad at all. Like these are all great for backpacking meals and maybe different flavors in some of these other brands would be really amazing compared to other flavors these ones have. So I think it all depends on your palate and the specific flavor that you've chosen for what we have in front of us. This is how we feel. There you go. And then of course, we've got to choose the best value out of each of these. The Backpackers Pantry Pad Thai is definitely the best value by far. This is the most inexpensive of all of these. You've got the most calories and nutrients packed in this one, and it also has great flavor. All of that added together, I would say this is the best all around out of all of these. Mm -hmm. The worst value is definitely the O meals mm -hmm. from a nutrition standpoint. It is very easy in the way that you get to make it, but it is the least amount of calories and one of the more expensive options. Mm -hmm. So this this is how much each of these packages cost. 
This is how many servings are in each package, and then this is how many calories are in each pack. Some of them have more than one serving per pouch. And then if you purchase the Nomad Nutrition, it actually comes with two pouches. So you get two different pouches, two servings for that amount. There you have it, a full comparison of some of the top rated backpacking pouch meals out there. Mm -hmm. We hope you guys enjoyed this video and it was helpful to you. We will leave links to each of these in the description of the video below. That way you can go to Amazon, check them out for yourself, and get some for your next backpacking trip. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have videos coming out every week. But for now, come journey more with us, and, and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.